you know, when I left the University of Utah for my master's degree, uh, I took a Renaissance history class and I saw Michelangelo's David, which I had seen many times. But in the class, they show the piece of stone that he used to carve David out of. And it was built just like your filing cabinet, much taller because David is enormous. But nobody knew what to do until Michelangelo saw David in there. And I always swore to the day I died, I had to go to Florence to see my David. It's the only inanimate object I thought I had ever loved. Well, two or three years ago, it's sunset, and I'm driving up Temple with someone, and the lights on City Hall come on, and the sunset in the back. And all of a sudden, I broke out in a cold sweat. And I said, I never have to go to Florence. This is my baby. And it will be till the day I die. The great phallic symbol. I mean, I have pictures, and I'm sure you've seen when it was the tallest building. We had to get a special ordinance. I think at that time, 13, 11 or 13 stories was the highest you could go. And this one ended up being 27. And so it had to be a special permit, a special ordinance to do it.